Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Darkwood episode 28 for our series here. Last time we left off, we had met Wolf, which is nice. We met Wolf Man. Uh, he came and visited us inside of our fortress there, and then we went up to the barn and we found him. I believe he tossed some stuff on the floor. I didn't get a chance to grab it because he did bring us here to the doctor's house. Now, I'm not sure if I'm ready to go down and see the doctor yet. I think we should probably head back, cook up a lot of this odd meat before it goes bad, and clear up a little bit of inventory space so that way we're all set and ready to go uh, to loot anything that might come up, especially things that might be important. So luckily, for some strange and absurd reason that I don't fully understand, by visiting Wolfman, it actually reset our clock back to morning. So we've now got plenty of time to head on back to our safe house and drop some stuff off. You can see there's lots of loot uh, worth grabbing up, some crates and whatnot. So we'll make sure we try to remember where those are. The church is back there as well. Now we had the dream about the church, which I found very interesting. And I would like to sort of deal with that again. Um, at the actual church. Now, I don't remember the... Unfortunately, I don't remember the passcode to get to that bottom part. And that's something I may have to look up. Okay, let's definitely put all of this stuff in here. We need to get more rags so we can make bandages. Bandages are a little bit more convenient to use. Than, say, um... The pills. The pills are very useful, but I shouldn't be using them as an everyday thing because that's going to burn them up very quickly. Okay, we've got the bread and we've got these which we're going to use up on our way back. I probably don't need this many magazines on me to be honest. And now that I've got the space to move it down there, I'm going to do that. I do like to keep some flares on me, but I don't need that many flares. So why don't we put these in here and take uh, three, four, five of them. Uh, so that clears up some, some inventory space. So, I mean, we're pretty good. I do have the eggs, which I want to use up, and I want to use this one pill up. And we're going to go cook all that stuff in a second. Is there anything else here I can grab? There's some more pills. There's some rags there. Okay, good. Just enough to make a bandage. I'd much rather use bandages than continue to use up all of my really nice pills that are uh, going to be valuable for future fights. Let's definitely cook all this up. Puts us already at 1,200, which is nice. All right, we're ready to run off real quick and go visit the doctor's house. Now, time does freeze when we're there, so we don't got to worry uh, a crazy amount about it. Uh, actually, now, I'm wondering if I want to repair my shovel and my... Nah, we've got enough. That's enough. I was thinking at first that maybe I wanted to repair it. Yeah, I saw that trap. Don't think I didn't. Oh, crap. There's a chopper right there. You guys thought I was going to step in that trap, didn't you? You're like, oh, here he goes again. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yeah, I could fight him, but I'd rather not. Oh, no! Oh! No, 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 no! Ah, crap. Crap. Eat the pills, eat the pills, eat the... Oh, no! What the hell? I should have just turned around and fought him. That would have been the smart thing to do, but I really wanted to outrun him. That's the only problem with that one trait that ends up, like, uh... Um, screwing with our exhaustion is that obviously you oh my pistol and everything's gone yeah when when uh, you run out of stamina you really feel it. it it sucks a lot luckily we lost it right by the church so we could probably just drop down from the top portion of it and grab it up quick yeah see like I lost stamina there and it, it hurts when I lose stamina Okay, let's do that. That'll get us there. Okay. 
We know the dog and the chopper is going to be in the area. The chopper might be right on our belongings. I have a feeling he wouldn't have moved too much. Oh. Don't see him. Alright, let's just grab our stuff real quick. Do a quick sort, because I hate having it all messed up. Sure. And, while well, we're at it, I'll throw these up here. Actually, swap that out for my pills, so we're not wasting them. Alright, let's hurry up and hit the doctor's house. It's already 12 o'clock. We're burning daylight here. Looking for that chopper. I know he's in the area. Uh, the doctor's house must be over this way. That's a corpse right there. Okay, that bear trap could come in handy, and now I got another pill, so that's good. Also, there's a rabbit. Um, the lock chest, I won't worry about. We're probably going to have a bunch of stuff we got to pick up in here. I've only got six slots. Oh, boy. I can always drop... I don't really want to drop the bottle or the alcohol because we use Molotovs all the time. Like, I'm talking, we use them all the time. They're super valuable for me. Some people just figure that, you know, some people just pick up to a certain weapon and... They become really comfortable with it. And for me, the nail board and the... The nail board and the Molotovs have been a lifesaver in several situations. And I've just become very accustomed to them. Alright, so we're going up to visit the doctor, I believe. I'm not sure if he's actually even going to be here. Um, it's very possible that he's not. I don't even know if this is taking us to him. I mean, we know it is, but... I knew there was going to be some rope in there. There's always rope in those. Wow, look at that. Holy crap. I've never seen anything like that. Locked. I need a key. Well, do I have a key? <gasps> oh, the rusty key, guys. The rusty key. The key I picked up like several episodes ago in the village. Remember, I killed the madman for it. He dropped the rusty key. It's nothing. Just a body. Oh, just a body with a freaking axe on it. You've got to be kidding me. An odd stone. Not sure what that does. But we got a freaking axe, guys. We've got an axe. Oh, man, I'm going to equip it right now. We're totally going to use that. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be like so stupidly excited. I, saw, I probably sound like a freaking idiot right now. Oh my God. I've got an axe. I finally got an axe. I feel so happy. We've got to take care of this axe. It's very important. I do have an axe blade for it too. So we can do some upgrades with it. Okay. So there is a bear trap down, which makes me slightly nervous. This doesn't even look like the doc. This isn't even the doctor's house. But it sounds like there's somebody here. Definitely sounds like there's somebody here. Yeah, there's something here. The question is, what is it? Because it could be a... Um, a chopper or something. I don't know. I'm going to bring the pistol out. I'm feeling somewhat uncomfortable. Is it this guy? No. He's, he's long dead. A plain countryside bed, the metal buckles of the leather straps fastened to the bottom of the bed are twisted and broken. So something maybe broke out of that. Alright, here we go, guys. It's definitely in this next room.
Oh, well, where is the doctor? Where daddy went out and left. Oh my god, that's creepy. Angry and hungry he was. I'm hungry too. Can't move, head is exploding. And if I move, I'll burst myself. What are you? I can't see you very well. Just a crazy guy. Okay, I can't search anything in here. So... He said if he moves, he'll burst himself. So is he infected? And if he moves... Okay, so here's an interesting scenario, right? We know that... We generally know that these guys get infected and that's what causes those choppers to break out. So is this guy infected? He says if he moves, he'll burst. Will he turn into a chopper? I'm not sure. Should we kill him? Does he want us to kill him? He's not... Oh, wow. Look at all of the blood. Um, Let's go ahead and put him out of his misery. Plus, he might drop something we need. And it's a chance I'm willing to take. It's, that kind of sounds bad when I put it that way. I'll use the nail board for it. Wait, he said he's hungry, though. Should I give him food? I don't have anything. I used my last bread. All right. Dead madman. Oh, he's got the rusty key. All right, we've got two rusty keys now. Well, that's interesting. Okay, what the heck happened over here? Body examine. A partially decomposed corpse. The left hand has been bitten off together with the arm. Okay, so a chopper or something got to this guy. I mean, something got to this guy. Axe is coming back out. We're heading up. Creepy music playing. Is this the doctor's house? It is the doctor's house. This is the doctor's house. Okay. What do we got here? A crate. Maybe some useful stuff. Huh. Yes. See, um... See, none of this, uh, none of this is useful. Yeah, none of that's useful. It's just, uh, limbs on ice. Okay. Well, there is odd meat. All right. I'm gonna leave this stuff here. I would like to take the odd meat, but you know what? I, I don't have the inventory space. We'll come back. How much fuel do we got in here? Uh, just enough. Okay. Let's leave it on just in case. We don't really know what to expect. This place is really beat up compared to when we were here in the past. This should be empty technically, right? Because we looted it last time, I thought. Oh, an odd stone. Okay. That's just very new. I'm hearing some creepy background music. That guy we killed is gone. Probably was eating or something. Okay, here we go. Do not have enough to take all of this. We're going to have to make another trip back here. I can already tell. A safe locked with a code. Um, maybe the code's on the ground here somewhere, or... Oh, there he is! I know him. That's the guy we killed. And we know him, but it, it doesn't go into detail. How we know him. We just know him. The wolf told me he could t take me to the doctor's house. It seems to be the place where the, f the fucker kept me and stole my key. Supposedly I'll find a clue there on how to get to his current hideout. Maybe I'll learn what precisely went down that night. 
To this day, I have no idea how I managed to escape. Yeah, we really don't know what happened, but there's the guy we killed. We boxed him to death. And we're saying we know him, but we don't know how we know him. I'm not really seeing a clue. I'm checking these papers to see if there's something I could pick up, because i got to figure out how to open that. Alcohol distiller. Search. A photo. It looks like it's just a forest, but what the heck is that right there? Also, is that a code? 20685920685. It's too long. It's too long to be a code. Or is it 120685? Um, 0685? I don't know. That's too long of a code. Ah, yes. Destroyed 125p. That dog is still dead there. We killed him. Ah, I want to get the safe open. Um, do we have anything in our journal? We got the shoal. The strange box with no numbers on it that I can see. It's creepy as hell. We don't know how to open it. The empty jar. The note. Desertion. I, as far as I know, we don't know how to open it. Um, actually the photo. No, photo. See, I, I can't understand what that is. It must be a date. 92 85 is a year. May, no, that can't be. 12 0, 6, Hmm. Okay, I thought that worked for a second. I got excited. Uh, um, well, it looks like there's something there. Wait, wait, wait. There's an eight. There's numbers on the floor. There's totally numbers on the floor. I just don't know what order. I'm sure that's what I'm seeing. There's an 8 right there. And then down here it looks like a 6. Right? Right there. It's weird that everything's different when you're looking away. Okay, well, you know, I don't want to linger for too long. I just, I feel like I'm stumbling onto something. Maybe it's the code in the beginning. I don't remember the code in the beginning. All I know is when I look there, I see an 8, and it's around the safe. See, the rug goes over the safe. The lines, they go into the rooms and such. Is that a nine right there? Eight. Yeah, but what order they go in? Could be freaking any order. And I'm still missing a number regardless. Five. 
four. Right there's a four. Right there. Okay. Okay, we can get into this. We just got to figure out what order they go in. I'm almost positive this is it. I swear to God, if this is it, I'm going to freaking lose my mind. Um, What order? What freaking order? Four? Is that a six or a nine? It's a six. A nine would look like that. Right there's a nine, I believe. So it goes four. Wish I could zoom in. Or is that an eight? No, that's an eight. Four, six, eight, nine? I know that's definitely what those numbers are for. I'm like wasting the whole episode trying to figure this out, but it's kind of part of the plot, right? Four. That number's really hard. Okay, maybe it's nine, eight, six, four. I'm never going to figure it out, guys. I'm sorry. I might mess with it off camera by myself. You know what? That's a good idea. I'm going to cut it off here since we're out of time. Um, I'll go ahead and put just a bunch of random numbers in. If I don't figure it out, then I'll start recording and just say I didn't figure it out. But I bet if... I know these are the numbers. Right? There's a four. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Before I... I'm following the lines. <gasps> there it is. There's another number right there underneath that. I saw I'm following the lines and I saw the lines go there. Hold on, wait, we might not be it might not be over yet. Okay, wait, wait, wait. They're going in an order now. They're starting under here. That's not a number. I don't know what that is, but it comes from the wall. It hits there, it goes six, five, four, eight. Six, five, four, eight. Oh, God, I know I'm close. The only thing I can think of is it's eight, four, five, six. Uh, that might not even be a six, though. If it's a six, it's upside down. That's the part that's throwing me off. Because that might not be a six, and I'm really struggling. No, it's definitely a six. Okay, so maybe it's eight, four, five, six. I completely didn't even think about the wardrobe until I saw the lines going under it. Ah, boy. Well, we know this is definitely leading us to the right spot. See, there looks like there's a line going there, too. It looks like there's another number here underneath that. But that was definitely it. Moving that. Moving that around was definitely what I needed to do. Maybe bringing this in that room will reveal something or in here. This is very interesting. Yeah, so like I said, I guess I'll leave it off here. I'll mess with this a bit off camera. I feel like I spent the whole episode trying to figure out this riddle, so... That looks like a nine. And the fact that it's uncovered but then covers up throws me off. And it looks like the line goes through the wall to that or there's a line there. Ultimately, that's a circle, that's an eight, that's a five, that's a four. I'm almost sure that's a six, but I can't be f positive on that. So yeah, okay, I'll cut it off here. Thank you guys for joining me. I do hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.